What up players, it's War Boss Tay up in this mood. Today we are unboxing and reviewing this Demi Griff kit from Games Workshop for the Empire Army for Warhammer Fantasy. So stay tuned to take a look at this sprue and uh, to watch me go, th uh, well not go through it, but to see how uh, my thoughts are at the end with a kind of review of the, the kit and the pieces. Uh, awesome kit when you see it all built up uh, well I think well worth it if you're planning on playing them in your Empire list because they're really really great and uh, they look great. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to check out Cheese Ninja Tabletop. This is an appreciation vid for Cheese Ninja Tabletop who's been, uh, who I first met last year doing the 2013 July painting challenge for my channel. He's an awesome guy and um, you've probably seen him in, in my comments or maybe he's commented on your videos or you've seen him around the community so go and support him check check him out and uh, he's got a lot of great Empire videos on his channel great guy and thanks for watching we will see you in the next video what up players it's War Boss Tay up in this mud and today we're taking a little break from the ogres and the terrain competition in March to do a shout out video to my buddy Cheese Ninja Tabletop, who is super active in the video YouTube community now, and he's really great if you've been watching my videos and you remember my July painting challenge from 2013, he was an active participant in that. And so it's been a little while and I'm finally trying to get back to all of my appreciation bids, so Cheese Ninja Tabletop, this video is for you. You get the thumbs up, blurry thumbs up. And um, he asked that I do, a lot of people asked that I do more Empire videos, and so I've been kicking around this box kit for a while, so I thought, hey, why not, let's get to it. It is the Demigriffs, the Empire Demigriffs, the new kit that came out uh, when the Empire was re-released. They're not exactly new now, they've been out for a little while, but I'm finally going to get into unboxing them, maybe building some up and painting one in a tutorial. So here's the box cover. You can see that these guys are loaded with lances and um, this is the painted example. They've got red armor on their demi -griffs, and the shields and livery is a combination of red, black, and yellow. So let's get into the sprues. First of all, you get these monstrous cavalry bases, which uh, if you have Mornfang or Dragon Ogres, you should be familiar with. You get three of those. And you get the instructions and you get the sprues. So let's take a look at the instructions first so we know what we're getting into. Empire Demi Griff Knights. When Forge World came out with their Theodore Buckner model, Buckner, however you say it, everybody that was. Um, in the hobby at the time, we're thinking, whoa, Demigriffs, that is so cool, what a great idea. He's not riding a horse, he's riding like a half griffin horse. They thought it was amazing, so I think Games Workshop kind of ran with it, so good for them. It shows you how to get the head glued together. Looks like each one is very specific. The heads and feet of the Demigriff are specific to each of the bodies, so you want the head and the feet the same for all of them. Bodies putting together, connecting the head to the body and the feet, like they said, feet very specific. So it's good that they put that in the instructions. Then here's demigriff number two. So basically they show you how to how to do each demigriff, how to put each one together. And then you can see here that they show you how to build the guys together. The men are consisting of two separate legs connecting to the torso which the torso is attached to the lower half, and arms, head, and if you want optional, or I don't know if it's optional, it looks like the, the back of the headpiece there. So this is interesting because in the old Empire Cavalry kits, you know, or you, you'll notice if, you're, if you don't have any of them, that the legs already come together and you pop the legs on and the body goes on top. I think the reason they did this, they split the legs into two halves and they put the groin area onto the torso here was because they could get more detail, they could make the legs a little bit bigger and chunkier. And it just shows that the newer molds and designs that Gaben's Workshop have come out with uh, allow them to do that. If they can cut the pieces up and make the pieces smaller, then they can do a little bit more detail with them. I think, I don't know, does anybody know how to how that works? 
Then you put the figure on the demigrave. Bada bing, bada boom. The sword is optional for any knight. So, oh yeah, this sword, I guess. But since they're armed also with hand weapons, you should probably put them on. The shield, this shield looks like a demigrave head, which I think is hilarious. And then um, it shows you how to do a musician. So the musician has whatever weapon they've got along with their, I think it's a horn. It's like a French horn looking thing. Yeah. <clears throat> or there's the arm and then yeah, here's a, the French, the, the horn, the curved horn. Finally, it shows you how to put the standard on, on the back and um, also attaches with these little cloth pieces for the reins to show that the standard bear is a little bit more fancy. And uh, here they also show how to do the knights with the halberds. If you don't want to do the lance, if you'd rather have halberds, I haven't heard either way which is better, lance or halberd. So I'd be interested to know with you guys who play Empire, which have you found works for you? The reins, I guess, are for all the knights. Yeah, hello. So all of the knights will have reins connecting their hands to the front of the mount. So you want to make sure you have that and shield and sword. No matter if they've got the, the, the lance or the halberd, the lance or the halberd, you'll want your guys armed with a shield and a sword as a backup. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprues. So let's take a look at the detail we've got here. Oh, which which side should we start with? Yeah, we're trying to see which is the front. So you've got helmeted heads, shield pieces, feet. Some of the helmeted heads look quite ornate and ridiculous, which is very appropriate. The lances have these little banners on them, which is great. Sorry, sorry, sorry for the blur, guys. Here you can kind of see the detail on the banner there. It looks really nice. There are halberds here. Beautiful looking twin-tailed comet kind of motif. Is that a griffin head? What is that? What is this right here? I don't know. Is that a person's head? Oh, hello. It's like, it looks like the front crest of the armor, like a, like a crazy sun. Or it could be a shield. The two legs, the two halves, a demigriff head. Yeah, beautiful. Look at the sculpt. They're able to really sculpt these feathers on really, really nicely. You got reins. Um, their hands use a very poofy sleeves with the slashes. Very cool. Here's a look at the webbed toes of the claws. And some more arms, a lance right there. Interesting, what is this wrapped around the handle? Not sure. But you can see they do a lot of great detail, which they can in these big kits. They should. I mean, each knight is essentially like 20 bucks American if you think of how much it costs. My favorite is looking at all the, the really ostentatious helmets for the knights with the feathers and the designs. And the shields look really, really nice too. KF for Karl Franz. There's another lance. Let's take a look at it this way. Ah, I see. They tie little things like hammers, like little charms to the the bottom of the lens so that's really cool that's a cool little detail that you know you don't see on the old school knights also the tips have these little tassels connected to the tips which is really really awesome as well uh, let's take a look at this guy's halberd each one is different each of the three halberds are different which is fantastic So it's got like a little griffin head on it. Oh yeah, if you're looking at my thumbnail, the reason it's black is because I was priming my scenery piece. I'm not a goth. I'm not a goth. Mm -hmm. 
What's wrong with being goth? I was a goth when I was a little necromancer. Nothing wrong with it, Igor. Okay, and here's a third one. This looks like, okay, sorry, upside down again. Um, this one you can attach the halberd head to the top to the halberd body. And yeah, this one, the lance has not a hammer pendant, but a little skull. It's appropriately gothic. The halberd head has a skull on it. Here is a picture at the demigriff heads. Sorry, I have to keep flipping the spruce around because pieces are facing all different directions. Here's a shot of this halberd or this demigriff's body. You've got a kind of like skull and a sun looking thing. And the detail on the front, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a grim reaper. He's got a scythe, he's holding a scythe, and he's got wings. So very suitably gothic. And he's coming out of a castle, which the castle you can kind of see in the back here, like the gates of the castle. Very, very ornate. You also get extra heads, which is cool if you want to use these heads for heroes or generals or special characters in your army. Each of the sprues has heads, a couple different heads, and this one in particular has a different different options for the, the champion's head. So you've got this one here, number two, three, and four. So you get four heads. Looks like four heads extra because you've also got this bare-headed man with a beard that looks like he would not be out of place in a, a Middenheim army. And here's his, his shield. Again, oh, let's take a look at the, the body on this one. Yeah, we hit, we did. So, okay, my, my estimation is you're not gonna get a lot of bits with these guys, a lot of extra bits that you can use, but it's nice that they included extra heads. Uh, it would have been nice to get more because, I mean, all these monstrous cavalry kits, they cost so much money for just three figures. And the same thing with the Chaos Dragon Ogres or the Mornfang, well not the Mornfang really, you get a lot of great bits with that. But with the Dragon Ogres, you don't get too much extra bits in them and that you can use for other models in your range, in your collection. And I'm not sure how much you're going to get for these, I'm going to try building them up. and. Uh, putting them together and then when we get back I'll talk about my challenges and the um, Just my final kind of analysis of this kit. So thanks for watching stay tuned and I'll show you the finished product in just a second So here we go clipping out the first demi griff How do you feel about this chicken knights honey buns? Me Me a lot of cleaning, a lot of cleaning the mold lines. Um, and then gluing. Oh man, look at my thumbnail. Gluing the pieces together. Yeah, the, there's this tongue piece that goes into the mouth that uh, is not very well sculpted, I think. You have to really hold it in place and it's such a small surface area that um, you're going to have to really just kind of kind of fudge it until you get in there and then once you seal the head up then the tongue kind of stays in place but I kind of wish that they had actually sculpted that into the mouth okay and here's what I'm going to be talking about later with the feet um, in the picture it looks like they go on a certain way but I, I think I got them wrong because <laughs> I'm serious when you look at the picture it looks like the back legs go a certain way but they're How long have you been doing no, they're wrong. The, whoever wrote these instructions was wrong. It's not. Oh right, right. <laughs> it's no they're fault. Wrong. Yes, they're wrong. it's no fault You're of me. Perfect. Look, look how horrible they are. They're, oh. Look, look at him. He's leaning over to one I side. Don't know what that is. Because whoever, whoever wrote, wrote it, the whoever yeah job it was to actually. Poor quality. Poor quality. And here we're putting together the knight's body. So there's lots of mold lines here. Uh, you just shave them down with the back of your hobby knife though, and then you put those together. <laughs>
And we are done. So this is the completed unit of Demi Griffin Knights all built up. Uh, I had to switch the reins on the musician in the center there because um, when I glued the shield on, his shield slash horn was a little bit too far back on the arm. So what I did was I uh, made some chains using the Gale Force 9 chain as reins instead uh, because when the, the arm is supposed to go on kind of at a straight 90 degree or 45 degree L angle and when it doesn't do that 45? No, 90. So that when the hand is forward it's able to uh, get the reins at the correct angle but because the arm is angled a little bit back when you put the reins on they're a little bit too short. So Gale Force 9 is uh, great. The chain is really great a substitute for that. Um, I think for the build overall the feet were really really confusing to put on because when you look at them and you try to figure out how which feet match up to which legs the um, sometimes the numbers are confusing because if you look at the legs in the picture there uh, it's hard to tell which foot goes on to which leg in the back and I think that's what kind of screwed me up with my first demi griff was that it looked like um, the, the back feet were in the right place, but when I actually matched them up to the picture, oh, they're, um, they were in the wrong place, so the feet kind of didn't match up with the legs, and then I was trying to stand the thing up, and it wouldn't stand, and it was all crooked, and the poor thing looks like it's, you know, got some problems. Uh, but <clears throat> overall, the sculpts, I really like the sculpts. I don't know if they're worth the, like, almost $20 per figure. But for people who run them in two units, what I would suggest doing is getting a unit, buying a unit of three, and uh, possibly getting one from a bit seller on eBay. They, uh, so there are some bit sellers now that sell single figures, so you can get your fourth one and then just have two units of two. I heard that's a really good way to run them. And if you do one musician or you build uh, the second one up, if you're not able to get uh, the, the fourth one as a musician with an arm piece, then just attach like a trumpet. To, to his uh, belt or something just to show that it's a musician if you're not able to get the musician horn shield thing there. And uh, I heard that running them with shields is good and I couldn't decide which was better, the halberds or the lance. The lance gives you the, the extra armor save or the ward save for having a lance and a shield, but the halberds give you an extra bonus to your strength all the time, whereas the lance bonus only lasts for the first round of combat when if you charge. Uh, the models are great. They, uh, I always wanted to see a Chocobo Knight ever since I played Final Fantasy Tactics as a boy, and it's cool to see something like it. I mean, they're not true Chocobos because they're they're demi -griffs. They have uh, four legs instead of two, like a big giant chicken. But I'm thinking it might be fun to paint one up as a Chocobo in Chocobo colors. Extra bits. You get five extra heads. I was gonna use this musician's head over here. But I've decided that what I'm going to do is save him and use him for something else because he's got this awesome duck face. And uh, I think I'm going to put him on like another character and make like he's doing a kissy duck face. Tweets, selfies. You also get four shields. Um, Carl Franz, Demi Griff, Twin-Tailed Comet, and a nice one with a scroll that you can... Uh, paint some paint some kind of uh, wording on so <clears throat> um, the this demi griff one is the only one that's kind of specific to this unit the others are usable this head crest if you decide not to use the bare head uh, the the unhelmeted head I mean which you could put in the back of any knight or character model to kind of look like a head um, headrest crest champion sword arm I decided not to go with the champion uh, but with the the regular lances. Oh, extra shield with the wing there. You get these little shields. I'm not sure what those are for, but you get three of them. And you get some banners here. Uh, if you decide not to use a banner, or a, uh, you could also use the banner pole as a halberd. And there's a halberd top, and you get those are the other two halberds with hands. So what you could do if if you're a chaos warrior, uh, or if you're you have warriors of chaos, what you could do is uh, trim the halberd and then use the halberd as a top and just trim this demi griff design off and attach it to one of the chaos warriors with hand weapon and shield and then you can have some guys with halberds. You'd need a lot more than that though I would just suggest getting the the games workshop 
halberd bits, if that's kind of what you want to go with for them. But that is it. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Cheese Ninja Tabletop. He's a great participant in the com community. He's got lots of great videos on Empire, his work uh, on that, which he did for the July Painting Challenge last year. And we'll see you in the future with more Empire videos, painting tutorials, uh, unboxings and reviews and all that stuff. Laters, players!